Hello and welcome to the Malloy Midseason Report. Today I'm here with men's soccer coach Tyler Body. Tyler, thanks for sitting down with me. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. All right, so early this season, you guys come off an ECC championship. You guys were picked first in the preseason poll. How has that affected you as a coach coming into this year? Yeah, it's, it's obviously a huge honor to, to be picked first in the conference poll anytime. Anytime you kind of get that honor early in the season, it tells you about, right, the group and what the other coaches think. Um, but ultimately, right, the, the conference poll means nothing in the grand scheme of things. We've got to still perform each and every week. Now you talk about performance. You had 15 players from last season move on. They graduated. Kind of bringing a new group of guys this year. How has your coaching style changed or even stayed the same with a new group of guys? Yeah, obviously we lost some really key pieces from last year's group, but we also returned a strong nucleus of older players that have had a lot of experience, and we've been able to kind of bring in some good pieces that have also kind of fit in well with the team. So you bring in 31 guys and from different backgrounds, different countries, right, maybe different – the different lifestyles, we always try to allow our guys to kind of be themselves, and I think that that helps, right, the group kind of come together and, and really become friends out both on and off the field. Now you talk about the diversity, and when I think of a diverse group, you need to have some sort of leadership, the back line, the midfield, and the attack. Who are some of your leaders out there on the pitch that you guys have really designated, like the captain or the leader of those three groups? Of course, yeah. We have guys that both lead by example and also guys that are vocal leaders. Obviously, Orlando's and Brown's wearing the armband every game for the past three years, um, but also have some older players that have been in the team that have really performed well season over season, right? You're talking about Nicky Conklu in the goal, um, Dennis Mejia in the goal also, right? Um, Danny Muir and Jonas Jacobson across the back line. Um, we've really had guys kind of step up and, and, and really come into their own over season over season. So this season, a big change uh, in all of NCAA soccer is they eliminated overtime. So now you guys are playing 90 minutes no matter how the game goes. Has your coaching strategy changed or any little adjustments that you would make when you knew you had overtime or has it, everything stayed the same? Yeah, yes and no. I think it probably depends a little bit on the situation, right? So early on in the season, right, you don't necessarily know how the season's going to go. I don't think there's really much that you change. Maybe as we get into the second half of conference play, when maybe you know what points that you need to get into certain positions, maybe it affects things a little bit going on. Um, but really throughout the game, you're not really thinking about it. Um, you're just really playing the game and trying to win as best you can. Now you mentioned you're going into the second half of the season right now, the second half of conference play as well. But let's talk about the first half. You start off with a couple of road games against tough teams. How has the non-conference really prepared you for the conference schedule? Yeah, to, to play the schedule that we have and to only have two losses at this point of the season um, really tells you a lot about the group, right? The teams that we play and the players that we play against are top quality players from all around the country. Um, and to be getting results week over week I, I think is really a testament to the team. So now going into conference play, you're off to a really good start in the first half of the season. The East Coast Conference, really tough conference overall. What have you seen from your team? Has there been a big adjustment as far as team mindset from regular, from non-conference to conference play? Yeah, I mean, a couple of things that really come to mind to, for this group, right, is resilient, right, super duper hardworking, tough to beat has been a, it has been a key cog in, in kind of our season so far. Um, and as the guys like to say, that they, they refer to themselves as dogs this season. Um, we want to continue that throughout the rest of the year. So you talk about resilience. This is a team, even when you guys are down, it doesn't really seem like you guys are out. And some teams, you kind of get that aura, like when they get down a goal or two, that the game could potentially be over. But with your team, it never seems like you guys are out. Has that been something you've instilled in them over your time with them? Or has they just kind of bought into that? We're the underdog. We can be that team to come back and tie in. Then. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't say underdog. I would. I would definitely say that that we're a group that is going to work from minute one to minute ninety, and no matter what the score line is. So, I think that's kind of led to to us maybe coming back late in games or scoring a late goal because as teams start to get wor worn down, we're just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, and again, another testament to their hard work. So the first half of the season of conference play, you guys have done very well. Now you turn the page to the second half, a couple of tough opponents coming up. How can you guys continue the success that you've had to make sure that you guys are in the right spot come uh, tone at a time? Yeah, we're looking to get better each and every single day, right? So all that we can ever ask for in a game is an opportunity to score goals, in a season an opportunity to win games, and then at the end of the season to, to try to win trophies, right? So opportunities are what you kind of make of them and, and we're going to continue to work hard. And you guys have done a great job of converting those opportunities, a lot of late game goals. With that specifically, how does it keep the morale up of this team? Like, you know, the teams typically, they go feed off of energy off each other. And when you guys score goals in the last five minutes of games and really carry it into the next game, how does that affect the team? Yeah, goals change games and goals change seasons, right? So 
to score some late goals, it really has kind of pushed us along, right? And, and kind of gives us that confidence game over game to go out there and, and compete and do our thing. All right, Tyler, thank you very much for sitting down. This is the Malloy Midseason Report, and we'll talk to Tyler at the end of the year. I appreciate it, Rob.